Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Come on, I'm Somi and I am with my husband. Ooh. So you guys asked for part two, so here it goes. Bing, 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 bing. for part two of the deep intimate questions and we have brought it to you guys and I don't know what do you want to say should we jump straight into it let's jump straight into it so I've got questions yeah. we've both well we've both got questions like we did last time and we found 10 questions and then what we did is we Musi said he'll take the odd numbers and I'll take the even numbers so which one is odd and even again odd one three okay. five even two, four, six. Shut okay. All right. So here goes. The question goes as follows. So was asked first. You are because you're asking number one. Okay? Yes, I'm asking. I the just, first question. I just have to recap again, guys. Friday brings a fried, and yeah, we want to try and speed through this one so that we don't give you guys an hour-long video. Yeah. Go, babes. So, so the question goes: What's one memory of us that you often revisit in your mind? Yeah. This is not an easy one. Um, I don't to say though, it will have to be our first vacation. Uh, Which one? Do you still remember it? Which one? It was in 2010 during the, the World, World Cup. Cup. It was oh. just before the World Cup started actually. I think it was and during the World Cup. It was during the World Cup. So just before think. it started. Was I remember. It before? Just before it started because they were still doing the. Uh, what you call this? The awareness and the. Okay, I it, I could be wrong, but I remember yes, I, it was yeah, during the World I remember Cup. it was. It was I remember we went Barbara. Yes, <laughs> we called it to Barbara, but what what was the name? Coral of House, Coral Guest Coral House, Coral, Coral Tree Tree Guest House. Coral Tree Guest yes, House. Yes, yeah. it was actually the first time we had a vacation. It was the first time. I was out of the house and like yeah. sleeping over somewhere after the injury. Mama was very nervous. Uh, mm -hmm. ma yeah, Mama was very nervous. I was nervous. Yeah, Mama uh, was very nervous because Mr. Rella had never left the house before post injury. Hadn't left that. And, and it was what, 2010? 2010. You yeah. were injured in, 20, in 2009, 2009 and, and spent the greater part of 2009. Okay, I was discharged in September. So, so the rest of 2009, 2009 was 2009 at home. And then and the World Cup was in June, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. And then we went away. Yeah, it was it was it was it was, it was a very away. safe and uh, uh, Landuka. Um, what is it? Vacation. Vacation. Yeah. We were very close to home. <laughs> no, we we actually prepared everything so that I could be close to home in case and, something goes wrong. You can. And if you remember at that time we had gotten a. I don't want to say a tender man and make it sound good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, we had gotten that gig, let's call it a, a gig, gig yeah. where we were doing the fan, one of the fan parks. Fan parks, and, and we had to be available. And I had to, to be available to, to attend to that, yes. I remember. And that's why we kind of booked a central place between home and the fan park. Yes. But luckily, there was nothing that actually needed me there, so we spent most of that time indoors. Yeah, we spent it indoors. It was so chill. It was so chill. It was the first. I think both of us were very nervous because oh, yeah. away oh, from yeah. home and your comfort zone, but yeah, it was, it was. I actually wonderful. think I still have a picture or two, um, so I'm going to hold those pictures somewhere in between, yeah, 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 in yeah, between yeah. that, so I that is, so, you, you so. can see, I think we were wearing Bafana chairs. We had a Bafana in one of the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward! Yeah, very, very, <laughs> oh, and by the way, you are so tiny in those pictures, and um. Emma, well, I, I, I'm tiny in those pictures, meaning what? Meaning you were still young. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's needed to check. That's how I you, needed to that's, check. That's how you play it safe, Jens. <laughs> Once you asked that question, I was already thinking, what's, what's the answer? What's the answer? What's the answer? Hey, you, what's but, the but, but yeah, you were young. I, uh, so were you. But I didn't hey, call you tiny because no, you were no, young. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually very fat in those pictures. No, you were. Yeah. yeah. But but let's move. Let's move. Let's go to question number two. I think I think both of us have very fond memories of that uh, uh, vacation. Yeah. 
Now, my what's your so question? I'm asking the second question. Oh, mm. by the way, I should have gone through this. I should have. Yeah, both of us should have. Brought what made you home. realize you were in love with me? Ah, on the spot. You right answer my question. What made what me made realize, realize I was in love with you? Made you realize you're in love with each other, and maybe we can just add time to that. But what would and be? when? I think for me, it was. I, I don't know if it's out in Nini. Okay, must see again the previous times when Wogia okay, was still chasing me. Ne? Yes. Must see again the hospital and everything. Because I think I realized that I have feelings for you when you were in the hospital because I felt very strongly that I needed to pray for you and you need to get out and I need to tell you. But then when I realized I was in love with Ikian, I think it was, I remember this, it was in your room. <laughs> oh, by the way, one of my aunts referred to my room yeah. and I somehow took offense. Oopsie, oopsie, I had a flat, I had a flat, I had a flat, flat, go quavo, and what I was like, would say, was a But yeah, we've always called it a car. Yeah, so, hi, Kalini, this one time I was there and wound in the lady seat. Was it one of those first times? Was it one of those first time visits at Kalin? I think it was because because I we, think it was like after my birthday or something. Okay, so, but, but but we were still very yeah we were still and go. It tender, it tender. There's there's a point I want to raise. There was a single seater sofa mm. at, at the corner that you was it during that time. I think that you come and sit no, there like the, for almost the entire visit. I don't know or, if we were at the stage of we past that. friends or we were just past friends. But I remember on the delay seat. I mean, um, the seat you can bring in. Yes. Hey, what are you so funny, baby? On the delay seat, I know I'm cool. You can't get catchy. Yes, and I, I think for the first time, I felt all those songs. By the way, were songs that we both enjoyed. Yes. And and you put songs that you knew that I particularly enjoyed. Mm. So for me, as much as it was corny back then, it, it's corny now. But back then, for me, it was such a thoughtful thoughtful thing, thoughtful gift, you know? You put time and effort in finding my type of music and I think that's when I really, I think even when you gave it to me, I cried. In what, in what music phase were you in? Was it still the Rihanna, Beyonce phase? I think I was or everywhere. Or was it more Adal, the I, I think I was everywhere. Adal, Flo and Tree, so okay, man. But okay, I was, I, I was I very, I was very happy with the CD and I thought yeah. that was a very thoughtful thing for you to do for me. So mm -hmm. I think that's when I realized, well, okay, I'm catching, Kalia uh, Because I remember I cried when you gave me that. Yeah, you did. So, so my that's question, when you realized. Hmm. Okay. My question, Kemo. All right, so I'm asking My this question, one. you asked, baby. It's huh. my turn to ask. First video, guys, go back to part one if you haven't seen it. I got this confused in there. Yes. Now let me ask. How do you feel our lives have changed since we became partners? I feel like I want to rephrase this one. Okay. How do you feel our lives have changed since the kids? Since the kids? Ooh. Have our lives changed really since the kids? Uh, they have changed in the sense that, okay, we've got people that we're responsible for. Yes, uh, and we I kind of obviously have to be less selfish with our time. We don't have a lot of us time, just the two of us time, uh, because yeah, the kids are, all, are always around. Yeah. And I know we used to have uh, naked Sundays. I think I've spoken to naked Sundays before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Embarrass us. Embarrass us. Embarrass us. We used to have Naked Sundays, and Naked Sundays are not there on the calendar anymore. Uh, naked Sundays were just us not doing anything, like chilling the whole Sunday. But we don't have the luxury of that. We don't have the luxury of waking up late, because going there like clockwork, 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Olo is now the new alarm. And Olo is now the new alarm. Oh, by the way, by the time Kunge wakes up, Olo is about to enter into... A, a first nap of the day yeah so it's always, it's, it's, yeah, it's always but life has changed in that sense that um, they've become the center of our lives yeah we plan around them yeah and we kind of need to be intentional as well about 
planning time to spend with each other around them because because we find sometimes that even when we need to discuss certain things we feel like okay we're gonna do this after we've put kunga down and mm. after all is also slept mm. and then we can have that discussion because sometimes you know guys it's yeah. crazy especially at night when we're trying to put all to sleep yeah. and we've got kunga Dando who's super hyper uh, at the time when he's supposed to go to sleep that we just don't have the time to discuss I think why you on a lay question, it's a, it's a video on its own. For me, there's a lot that has changed. But again, I feel like this was your question. And yes, the, don't, don't steal people's Yeah, questions. and I think the question, whew, there's so much that has changed after kids. There's so much. Uh, but anyway, it was your question, and I feel you answered it fairly. Can you ask me my question, please? All right. Your question, I'm at number four. Yes. How do you want to grow together in the next five years? That's ah. such a job interview question. Yo, How do you want to wanna grow together in the next five years? Where I do you hope, see us in the next five I years? I hope we find each other. Um, as much as I felt, I didn't want to answer that question, ne? because it was your question, the previous yes. question. It was your question. But Kum, that's why I said so much has changed. Because I think after kids, there's a part of you that you lose or you 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 i don't know one that you lose okay it's permanently gone or what but i i hope that in five years time our babies would be much bigger ukonge would be what nine yes. turning ten or would be five, five turning maybe six so those are they're still babies but you know mm. and i hope by then we would have found each other because i do feel that kids kind of make you guys yeah, they become the focus. Base. Like not lose one another, but a lot of things get lost they when there's kids. Become yeah, the focus. So the synergy and and even the energy, it just it's gone. So I hope that we find each other in five years' time, um, and I hope that we grow together in many spheres. We've got so many dreams that we discuss. On top of having children that take away from the couple. Yes. There's school for Wena, yes. and, and both of us are working full time. So really, it does feel like, hey, bruh, I don't know if it's just me, but it does feel like we are, we are in two different, yeah, we are floating in two different spheres, yeah, one, and it's sometimes very difficult for us to kind of connect. So I'm hoping that in the next five years, we find our way back to each other. In fact, I hope it happens before the next five years. But yeah, I hope. By then but, we would have found each other. But yes, I, I don't think I, I, I think I understand, um, what you're referring to by the two spheres, and and I want us to be kind of conscious of the fact that we might not ever find ourselves back there. We might have a new back, but yeah. it might not be that back hmm. because the children will always be there. Yeah. And because we've got dreams and aspirations, chances are after academics is going to be something yeah. else. And chances are you would have jumped on another wagon of another journey that you want to take. Yeah. So I want us to also be weary of being in the moment yeah. and enjoying and not thinking, ah, there's, yeah. there's something missing. There's something that we need to go back to. Yeah. And we might just never be back there, but have a new back. If you understand what I mean, I you. have another. I I think actually this this is what it's bringing up. We need to kind of be conscious and be present at all times. Yeah. Um, it's the hard, because it's a, it's a yeah, hard thing to it's, do. It's, it's a hard thing to do because we've got we've got young ones, and we've got all these things that are happening. But I think in between that, we need to feature us. Mm. We need to be conscious about featuring us, and I think even this, um, this being back on on YouTube. on YouTube, is one of the things that we get to do together. Yeah. We get to spend time editing together. We get to spend time talking about the videos. And I think I like these questions because they also kind of bring up things that maybe the other person didn't know yes. about the other person. Mm. And then, and I'm actually realizing, you know, the fact that yeah, we we just need to be present. Yeah. And constantly brings our bring our minds to mm, have we made us time this week? Yeah. 
and be conscious of doing that. Because, I mean, we, we've got during the week, I mean, if you know how our day runs, um, I'm back at home, I was half past five, we it's already bed, bath time, bed bath time, time, cooking, bed time, supper, cooking, everything supper, is squeezed in, eight o'clock, I mean, but, bed, mm, we, eight o'clock we're tired. We're tired, but or sometimes I, I have work. to continue with yeah. work, or I have to attend to school work. Yeah. And by the time I'm done with that, the day's over. The day's over, and, and we're like, back to doing it again the following day. Over and over and over and over and over again. And the weekends, we try to fill them with some sort of activity so that oh, they're okay. just things that we yeah. need to attend because mm -hmm. we are at that team now. Yeah, guys, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's one of those that hopefully in the next five years would have found our feet. We Let me in, just leave it. We at actually that. need to have a video and talk about adulting. Yeah, uh, I, I think that's another dream we were all sold as a people. Yeah. That adulting is where you wanna be. <laughs> and adulting. Ah flames. Who's asking the question? Um, to um, you? Um, um, I answered this question. Even though you How am I getting this wrong all the time? You are. Let me Fra lead you. Friday, Friday, let, me, Friday. let me lead you. Okay, yeah, so the question me. goes as follows. What is one thing you think we can do to strengthen our relationship? What is one thing that I think we can do to strengthen our relationship? Whew. I know the answer to this, but it's not my question. But you can't, you can't ask questions and answer them. What's, I know, what's like I know, scale? I'm just saying. Stealing questions. I know, I'm just saying. So what's the one thing that I think we can do to strengthen our relationship? And I think I want to go back to what I've just spoken to and maybe expound on it. Presence. I think we need to be conscious about making time for each other. So how are you gonna do that? Like no, give me can I can can I can I can 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 I finish expounding? And then you can ask all our questions. So as you said, we've got this red race of a week and then we've got the weekend that's almost always filled with activities. Mm -hmm. But in between that we need to say babes between this time and that time um maybe when we're having lunch TV off. Mm -hmm. Or when we have a supper TV off, of course, we need to then be present and discuss things and just be with each other. No TV maybe on a Sunday whilst mm -hmm. we're having supper or no TV when we're having lunch. Mm -hmm. And something practical like that. Yeah. And date nights, bring date nights back. And we, we, we've got makazis, we, we, we've got people, we've got omakulu, we've got otabao, we've got people that can look after the kids for a few hours. Make use of that. And I, I know we do it, but we do it not sparingly. as... Sparingly. Yeah, sparingly. And I want us to be intentional about that. And if we can do that, spend more time together, there'll be less of missing each other, even on things, because there's things that we even miss discussing. Yeah. And the next thing we know, I feel like... But why didn't you tell me? But why didn't you tell yeah. me? Yeah. And yeah, there are plenty of those that stay here and and sometimes you think i go tell me i'm very long i don't know yeah but i agree with you 100 percent on that one um and now your follow-up question and 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 no no i'm not gonna ask a follow-up question i was gonna say in fact speaking of date night i think i did say to you that it's a date a date night series or a date series where okay. we actually take the people with us on short short small dates like do we Invite them? No, no, no. Or do we Just vlog? Take the, we take the, oh, okay, the camera, okay, okay. The phone or whatever. Didn't, didn't we do that once in, in, the, in the previous season? I've got, no, I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay. So let's be intentional. We'll do it. Your question, baby. My question. Oh, time flies. Um, oh, my word. I wish you got this question. Uh, Okay. You're number seven. What? You're number seven. I'm six. Seven. I'm six. <laughs> are, 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 you, are you trying to I'll trick try, me? I'll try to I'll trick you. I'll try to trick you so that I oh, can go back and ask you number well, six. You just got my question from last. No, can uh, I ask you from this From what to do. Oh, no, no, you will really not. Okay. What importance do you place on physical? Uh, physical intimacy <laughs> in our relationship. Uh, it's important. Let, let me ask that again, <laughs> facing the other camera. What importance do you place on physical intimacy 
in our relationship. None of this, it's important. None of this emotional connection. <laughs> Physical. <laughs> I really, I really don't know how I landed with this question. What importance? What? What's the question? What importance? What importance do you place? Do you place? On, what value do you place on physical intimacy? Yo, I so have questions. It's very important, guys. It's it's very important. It's very highly highly important. Can I go to number seven? What is that? It? <laughs> no ways. No ways. No ways. I, I I feel cheated. I I actually. What do you want me to say? This I so actually open. spent over seven minutes. Explaining and over explaining this question. I am not going to explain why it's important. <laughs> okay. Why? Okay. I feel it is important though. I mean, yes. I don't know how to explain this question. Try. Babe, give me. Try. Give me a break. I feel it's important. We both like it's it. Not it. We both like it. <laughs> <laughs> you had a family. On. We both like it. Yeah, for sure, sure. Okay, fine. Let me be an adult. Let me be grown up about this. So yes. Physical, so the physical intimacy is important. I it is shame, guys. And this on my lunch. My leg is like cool. Um, but I do want to express that maybe when it comes to the level of importance. Yes. Over the years, I think Umsi and I used to clash because I think he 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 held it quite high up. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was like one, and we're talking about physical intimacy. Yes. And for me, it was one of those things that I was like, okay. But I think as I've grown also as a woman, mm -hmm. and as, as I've also been comfortable with my own body, been comfortable with my own skin, and kind of being comfortable and content where I am, Yes. I kind of have Nam Gemogu kind of started, not started, but like allowed myself to just be free yes. and because of that it's something that number i place quite higher value in the hierarchy of value important things in your value, life. I, 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 there's value there. important things in your i'm life. not gonna say how far it goes but in a value top three hey who are you to come and put the question and be like it's right. my turn uh it's it's your turn to ask guys our our cameras um our camera just our card just got full, our SD card. Um, so we had to quickly change our setting. Now I can't find the questions. Look at your camera. Go All right. Camera. So the next question reads as follows. What is one change in our relationship that took you by surprise? One change in our relationship that took you by surprise. One change that took me by surprise. Yeah, it's a difficult one. Yeah, it is. Because I'm trying to think of the changes in our relationship. And one I didn't anticipate. Um, is it okay to say there's none? Um, is there nothing that changed? No, things have changed, but one that took me by surprise. Yeah. Um, okay, let me try and apply myself. Yeah. Um, I think it's very difficult for me, and I'm gonna tell you why. With everything that has happened in our relationship, because I'm an overthinker, I would have thought of a possibility of it changing in that direction. And when I would have thought of a million ways on how we can then deal or I can deal with it. Um, yes, I remember with the kids, and I don't want to mention Kungendando because Kungendando was, was, was the first. The first, yeah. Yes. Uh, I did not anticipate. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I actually think that's the one. Yeah, what is it? Because I remember when you then had to play mommy, there was a point, and somebody actually had mentioned this to me, and I thought, that's not gonna happen to us. <laughs> what? Where I felt Kungendando would be such a priority that I would feel left out mm -hmm. and literally be jealous of my own child. I think that's the one actually that pops into my head, and I think that's the one that took me by surprise just the amount of attention. Yeah. I mean, it was our first. Yeah. Just the amount of attention that you needed to give him. Yeah. 
and it totally took away from the attention that I used to get. I mean, yeah, I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't mean that in a bad way, but I was getting all the attention. Yeah, yeah. Then Kungi came. I'm like, he's little. Yeah. And comes and takes my time. I mean, yeah. my time. I, th I think for me also the changes that kind of took me by surprise for for me. I think that with Kunge, I wasn't surprised by the change because I, I think I was just in it. I was just in it. I was in there. I, I was flowing. I didn't really think about how you were seeing it. But I think for me, changes that took me by surprise in our relationship mm. were, um, I think, postpartum. Yeah, actually, I had read about it and I did anticipate it. And when it happened, I recognized it. I, I don't think I read about it. I don't think I prepared myself for postpartum. Mm. I think I was just and, and always it, in the mm. pregnancy. And then postpartum happened and so many things changed for Rimna that I was I was feeling lost for some for some time. I remember I remember when you opened up about it for the first time. Yeah. Um, it's like I got two friends actually that pointed that out to me. Yeah. And and No one ever did, um. To me, to me, it was Utuma and Dave. Yeah. And they mentioned that, look, this is probably going to happen. And be on the lookout for this and this and this. And the only thing you can do in those situations is to be there and be understanding. Yeah. And obviously, you know, it's easy when you hear it. But then when you were going through it, you know, I, I had feelings that I had. I feel like, huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay, I have to be understanding of this. But then I had to, you know, research yeah. and realize I think that for me, I would, I emotions would... were just taking you over. Yeah. yeah. They owned you. Yeah. Yeah, they did. And I think, I didn't know. No one ever talked you, to you, me about You didn't it. recognize it. I didn't it. recognize it. I think it was you who pointed it out. Remember? Yes. And I was like, oh, wait. There is such a thing as postpartum. And, and so many changes happen. And yeah, you need to give yourself grace. But anyway, those those were things that took me by surprise. Um, Jans, prepare yourselves. I think yeah. ladies too, because but, my, had someone said, because mm. when you're pregnant, it's all about the pregnancy, the baby, the pregnancy, the baby, the baby, the pregnancy, the baby, and, the pregnancy, and, you know, the, the baby. beauty of the journey. No yes. one ever talks about the after. What happens to you physically, physically emotionally, emotionally, psychologically? So many things change for a way. And no one came to me and said that's gonna happen, but. So I guess when you pointed out to the gents, I also want to point it out to ladies that, oh, yeah, yeah, we need to give new mommies a bit of a hit. <laughs> but yeah, everyone's different. Everyone's and, different. And, and maybe it's something we can expound on, on in, a, in a separate episode. That's why I said, what, what changes after kids? Because yes. for me, I found... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, another video. Who's, who's turn is it? Guys, if you can hear Olo, she's, she's safe, okay? Yeah, no, she's safe. Morning. She's just moaning. She's moaning about being in the same spot as where, brother. As brother, because brother can be overwhelming. Um, what, who's reading the question? You are. I am. Yes. How can we keep the passion alive in our relationship? Can I say you refer to part one? <laughs> How can we keep and it? bring it back, man? I feel like as much as we want to keep it alive, but bring it back. No, I'm somewhat of a lessons learned kind of guy. So whenever I like see something that has worked, I always want to say, okay, maybe it's something to try it again. You know, sometimes we would even. You have days of saying, okay, you know, tonight we're gonna go eat out. And guess what? We'll actually sleep over at the hotel while we're eating out. Oh, yay! When are we gonna do that? Those are nice. Yeah, I wanna do things like that again. Yeah, those are the nice kind of. I really things. wanna do things like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually getting the feeling that you're gonna say, let's do it tomorrow. I can't. You can't. You can't. I, I can't. before all. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, tomorrow we're on full time parent duty. Mm. Things like that. And. Also, I think it goes back to the whole thing that we are talking about of being intentional. Yeah. Um, being intentional about spending time with each other. Yeah. And sometimes we would start off by, you know, being in 
isolating time to talk about things that affect the household and we'll end up talking about us. Yeah. And and then and we'd go into the early hours of the morning talking yeah, and reminiscing nice. and connecting. And, and 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 to me I feel that's how we can do it. Yeah, we can to be intentional about setting that kind of time. Oh, oh, Always nice. morning. Bad. Okay, who's asking the question? It's your turn. Yes. Yeah, ask. Ask, baby. It's your turn. It's my turn to yes. ask. Oh, sorry. What are your boundaries when it comes to privacy in our relationship? I think for us, so it who we've, 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 we've never... We're not secretive. Mm -hmm. um, so, for me, secrecy is a no-go. In yes. our relationship, there, there are no secrets in our relationship, but there is privacy. There's privacy in the sense that um, I don't expect you to go through my phone. I don't go through your phone. Uh, I can go through your phone at any you point I want to. I, we share the same passwords. Yeah. We share the same passwords. Um, I just feel like it's it's the, there's no secrecy. So in our relationship, no secrecy. Okay, no secrets. Unless it's a surprise. Unless you want to buy me a car. And, a surprise. Uh, and, and, and I remember how you'd kind of ruin those surprises back in the days. Where you'd feel like, you're being secretive. Give me your phone. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my word, don't do that. I'm planning a surprise for you. I forget. And, and, I've and, stopped doing yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> no, you have. Because you've ruined a few surprises. As well as I've that. stopped doing that. I that. I that. Yeah. But yeah, going through your partner's phone, that's a boundary. Don't go yeah, through your partner's don't phone. Do don't go through bank state. We don't share the same bank account. And but still we don't go through each other's bank account. But we're still statements. transparent about that. Yeah, finances. yeah. So I think definitely for us it's not a difficult thing. It's never been and I hope it never it's, will be. It's a communication. Yeah, you know, like, I think as long as there are no secrets. Because secrets yeah. that's where you Ooh. breed Ubu Mene Mene. Say, it, um, say, it, say come it, from say secrets. It, say that in English. I don't know many men. That's what you breathe. Lies, falsehoods. If you keep see, if you start by okay, keeping I'm, secrets, I'm actually gonna think of an English word and just drop it somewhere. So no secrets, but no definitely secrets. there is privacy because. I don't go through your phone, you don't go through my phone, we don't go through each other's bank statements. We Not because we, we can't go through them, but I mean, there's no need. You've got my Gmail, you've got my passwords, but the, but you don't go through my yeah. mailbox. Yeah. There's, there's, there has to be boundaries, guys, as much as yeah. there are boundaries. Boundaries. Guys, boundaries. boundaries. And, 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 and the thing, the one thing that people that, you know, go through each other's phones often find is that when you're looking for something to find you're bound to find it to find, to it. find it i think also and when you're going through a phone you want to work on it you also you're also creating something about there, there, there's there's something about trust that's being yeah. put out there with yeah. that yeah i think also by now we come back and they tend to yeah and they tend to i don't trust the jan and I think those, if, if if you plant a seed of a mistrust or how do you put it in English? If you are, mm. you it's, it's, a, it's it, it can be a very slippery slope. Yes. Yeah, but it can be because of suspicious. Of every little so suspicious. Thing. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. If you're looking for something, mm. then you are bound to find something to be mad about. So again, let me let me end this off today with the last question. With an easy one. How would you like us to handle disagreements or conflict in the future? Hey, this one is very important, Patrick. Yeah, I, I I was gonna say I think at present we <laughs> we 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 digressed. No, not 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 digressed. That's 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 not that's not the right. That's not the word I wanted to use. We've Regressed. Mm. Yeah, that's the English word I wanted to use. Now, communication is one of the things that we used to hold very dear. We still hold very dear. We open in our communication. We do our best to communicate about everything. But when we have disagreements, there's one thing that I would often put out. Is that if it gets heated, 
let's step away from it and come back to it later. I'm able to do that. You're not. <laughs> and, 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 you, you are just about to do it again. And we used to do it so well back in the days that we'd be able to step out of a disagreement. We'd be able to say, you know what, we're going to give each other space because it's getting heated and it's going nowhere. Give each other space. And then when we come back and there are less emotions involved, um, we are able to have a conducive conversation. But what often happens, what often happens now is that I see you feel the need that, you know, okay, I get it. We, we are going to, we are going to do the space thing, but I need to register this one. I need to make sure that, you, you know, you hear this now. And guess what that does? It just fuels the emotions and gets us back there and we're on a high and it's just, it becomes an argument. So, uh, when I, so you would like for us to, 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 so when what, there's a disagreement to kind of walk away mm, and come back. When there's a disagreement and we are not, we're not able to find each other and we are seeing this thing actually turning into this big issue and we are just almost at each other's necks, we should be able to say, babes, let's step away. I see it. Yeah. And, and we used to do that so well. And it worked for a very long time. I feel... Yeah, okay. And this is a very important... That's why I said this is a very important question because we can't see that we have regrets and in how we handle disagreements. I feel we, we kind of like... We are, yeah, we butt heads when there's a disagreement. So, do you know why for me it's difficult to kind of walk away? Because sometimes, or when you're at that point when I want to register a point, and yes. when I, you feel like, Masieg, and we'll talk about, I feel like I'm being shut down. It honestly feels like I'm being shut down. Like, zhup, yeg. Because as much as we're going to address it later, do you know what's the next thing in my mind? Later, umini. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm and I'm and and guess what? Go. The argument becomes about later, and then we move to that. The argument becomes about how you said this, how you said that, and then that's when we digress and we just, you know, we're just in this pit that's just never ending. We're just going deeper and deeper and deeper into it. Okay, so and to answer the question, how do you understand the disagreements? Let's go back. Lessons learned. We used to do this so well. It used to work so well. Same thing we used to do. Babes, we are not finding each other. We are not. And it's heated. And it's getting more heated. And instead of us getting close to finding each other, we actually just digressing into other things. It's an argument about how you said this. It's an argument about the use of that word in this context, in this argument. That's when we read, that's when we should both realize that you know it's not long even about the issue. Mm -hmm. Let's step back. Go find a little corner in the house. We've got a very big house, and I'll find my little corner. And we stay there until we're ready to be sensible. And, 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 and before you. You see, that's 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 another thing. That's why I'm saying you have gotten into this zone. Oh, I'm so happy it's my turn to address issues. <laughs> you you you've gotten into this zone where you you want to address things now because you've got these emotions you've got this anger that's pushing you and the anger that's pushing you is Not what anger, it's frustration the frustration yes call it whatever you want to call it babe. it's a bad emotion <laughs> that emotion that's pushing you mm. is what's not gonna make us find each other and that's what needs to subside that's what needs to sort of fizzle out of you and the moment you zone out, the moment you go into a corner, and I know it happens with me too. I'm going to go into that little corner. At first, for probably the first 30 minutes, all I'm doing is arguing with you in my head. Yeah. But as the time goes by, it's fizzling out, it's fizzling out, it's fizzling out. And in a How nutshell, do you want us to handle in a nutshell, let's go into our little corners one. Let's go back into our little corners like we almost, like we used to do. Uh -huh. Uh, up until a point where we're able to become and handle the disagreement like adults. Because I feel like 
when it gets to that point, we're just throwing toys at the cart. And can I not, can, can another point I want to add, can we also, can you, let me just be frank, can you also just give me room to talk sometimes, ne? This express because I think that the, the, the arguing also comes in a point where I know how I feel about this thing and I want to yes. tell you, but because already the asthma, we are born, but I don't agree with you already. When I saw Glanba defensive, but Masiek, baby, Masiek, something I see Ted, Gandhi, simply because we are gonna argue about it doesn't mean that I can't say my piece now. Can, can I not just be able to say, but baby, this is how I see it. And if you feel the one I went, oh, this was this argument. Okay, Masiege, but you know how I feel. Yes. Without me having to feel like, and guys express nagati. So, 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 Masime, Masiege. Can I continue? I actually think this one is going to be long, guys. Mm. Because I feel like we're actually addressing something that we haven't had an opportunity to address. Hey, wait, I think so too. The thing is, the moment. I do that because I do do that. Um, well, which is what? Which what? is which is allow you to express yourself. Mm-hmm. I feel I do do that. And the moment I say, okay, I hear you. I feel we're not going to find each other. Mm. Can we park it now? What happens? I want to talk about it. You want to talk about it some more. You just want to talk about it some more. And that's when we miss each other because I feel like we've already registered the fact that we're not finding each other. We already registered the fact that, you know, I hear you. And, and another thing that I think makes you so mad is how calm I've become during those disagreements. Look at it. <laughs> I, 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 used to be the, I used to be the fighter. I used to be the one that wants to bulldoze my feelings and bulldoze my thoughts uh, through into you or unto you. And I've become this person that is so chill when it comes to handling. And I think it makes you mad. Because sometimes I feel you, you, you purposely shut me down. No, I'm not shutting you down. I'm not being dismissive. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is de-escalate. What am I supposed to be doing? Let's talk about me. Come again, Dim Long has understand you. So at that point where I feel like I'm boiling. Look, you're boiling. You're being expressive. You're expressing yourself. And you need to trust me like you trust me with everything so when i tell you that Ndikuvili, i hear you okay. but i'm still in disagreement with what you say and i'm saying it in that tone she thinks i'm being condescending and i hear you you registered your thoughts can we park it a bit until we until we come down and we come and revisit the subject again because i feel right now we're gonna talk over each other and guess what happens? Somebody jumps on my throat. <laughs> I don't because like. I'm too calm okay, for her fine, liking. Fine. And, and 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 I'm doing that purposeful, purposefully because I don't want us both to get heated because we used to have those and those would be mm. ugly. Mm. And yeah. Yeah. Oh by the way, guys, you know, we argue. Yeah, yeah. I think but, every couple times. But 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 what I like about us. We probably have three months apart between those oh, arguments. I think it's 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 I think it's, 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 understand Anna, but there are those things that creep up that mm, we both disagree about. And, so as a creepy up oh because we yes. oh, I think this is an understanding of one another and says yeah, see how Pilisana is Yeah, I just I just I just I just wanted to put into context the fact that yeah, we sometimes get them we get those heated arguments. But it's not a daily occurrence. Like yeah, we yeah. can go for three months without arguing, over six months without arguing. Yeah. But when it happens mm-hmm. and it boils out of Lonely control, um, furniture moves around here. Ah, yeah, baby. Don't say not literally, about not literally. Ah, yeah, silly guys. Yeah. Not literally. No, 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 no. With words. Yeah, but I, I think and also we're not. No, we 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 aren't aggressive or anything like that. No, 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 and no. And I no. think even we aren't even aggressive. Here at home, no we one really not knows. Rude. Yeah, we, no one really knows that we're fighting. Yeah, but because it's it never really gets wild, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. So just paint a picture. No, man. I'm I'm just saying, like any other couple, we do have those intense mm. arguments. We do have those intense disagreements, and when that happens, 
yeah, we could do better. I think we could. We could definitely do better because it's quite exhausting also. Yo, because of the last stage for Kumbelana also came over. Yes. When Omnia go, Ushila, Omnia Kafunu Teta was a Kumbile, and then go on to him. Then it's like, oh, you feel like. It's exhausting. And I feel like. Yo, especially when it happens on a Friday. I'm like, <laughs> okay, sa- Saturday is dead. Yeah, no, we've um, just killed Saturday. And chances are we're probably like going to find each other towards later. the later yeah. part of Saturday. Yeah, uh, yeah no. So but, guys, please don't but, argue but, over the weekend. But guys, but guys, I must say, making up. Guys, up this is where we end this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Three. And thank you so much for your support in everything. Uh, Santana, guys, ne? we're going to end it here. Um, so please <laughs> share, this, share, this share, this video with, share with share this video with your with your significant other so that you guys can also uh, replicate talk the about, questions. And talk about these things. Yeah, so that we you don't can talk, talk about, about because these things. Because things with, with, you kind of leave these things lingering, thinking that's your understand and thinking that omnium yeah. But up until you actually sit down and ask each other these questions, then you realize that there's so much more that you can learn about each other. True. You know? So please do try and ask your partner about these questions and see what kind of answers you guys get. Um, and I think we're going to leave it there, guys. We hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Comment, comment, comment for us in Tlambi if you have other questions that you'd like us to answer as a couple. And also share with us if you were able to do the part one exercise with your partner and yeah. and how it went. We yeah. would really love to hear from you guys. Yeah, uh, we'd really love to hear from other couples. Like, how yes. do you guys... Zinchan, one, sometimes I even say to Musiba, I wish I was a fly in some households just to see how other people navigate through yes. relationshiping. Yeah, well, um, yeah, so I'm curious now to know, Bana, if you guys had to answer the questions, what are some of the answers that your partner gave? Did you learn anything about your partner? Mm. Yeah, so comment down below. Let, let it be a very busy comment section. Because I actually saw a lot of comments on part yes. one. And especially on the intimacy question on the intimacy that question. I had answered. Yes. That yeah. a lot of ladies felt like, ah, yeah. now we get it. And there was there was a person that complained about the beeping alarm. See, they me like, we hope it's off, ne? It's off. I think We've it's gotten off. so used to the sound of that alarm. We hope it's off and we hope that you noticed. And yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to leave it here. Yes, let's do that. And let's we will see each other next time. Love you, fam.